Hey everyone, we're with two of the stars of Celebrity Apprentice, Kenya Moore and Ian Ziering, two of my favorite people on the show, actually. Welcome. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Thank you for that. Thank you. We're well. Now, how's it to work with Donald Trump and his entire family? Oh, I fell in love with Ivanka Trump and Eric and Donald Jr. They are amazing kids. Well, they're adults, but he has done an amazing job raising those children. If he's ever done anything right in his life, it was it was with his children. Yeah. Uh, I agree. You know, they're incredible individuals, smart, well-educated, bright, funny, accessible, mm -hmm. and good-humored. Mm -hmm. The fact that they've created this program that enables people to raise millions of dollars. Our season raised $2 million for charities. I've worked hard for the Epidemolysis Pelosa Medical Research Foundation, ebkids.org. You worked your tail off for the... The Detroit Public Schools Foundation. Mm -hmm. Um, dpsfoundation.org and uh, I think and we were very successful, yeah. Now there's a lot of personalities on the show. When you signed up for it, did that worry you at all to have to deal with so many different egos, I'll say, for the show? Well, we're one of those egos, so no. <laughs> no, not you two. No, not at all. No, no, no. Egos meaning different personalities. I think that um, with myself, I just think I wanted to stay focused on winning and why I came there is to raise awareness for our charities. And that's what I just try to stay focused on, not egos and drama and anything that's like a sideshow. Well, that's that's really it. <laughs> There's, um, there really, for me, was no ego either. It's just directing my focus and my deten my attention to winning this. Being persistent and being driven and doing everything I could to bring a big fat check and awareness to EB. Now, are there any troublemakers on the show who you would say, or who is who would you say is the biggest troublemaker on the show? <laughs> I, I, I can't wait for his answer. Just his reaction right there, I can't wait. Well, you know, there, there are some troublemakers, <laughs> the people that, you know, came to... Uh, just drum up some drama and be talked about. And then there are the standout people like Ian. Oh, you're too cool. Um, and for me... You're hired. Be, <laughs> I'm hired. <laughs> just, you know, being focused on the end game, which is winning money for our charity yeah. and raising awareness. A lot of strong personalities. You know, the show belies the character that you have. There's no hiding it. So, irrespective of the edit, you're seeing the people for who they really are. So knowing there'd be a lot of personalities really didn't matter to me. I, I thrive in competition, I love it. So they were really all, all on my list to go, including the lovely Kenya Moore. <laughs> you know, you get along better with some than others, but ultimately, never to confuse things, they all needed to go. So it was never a personal attack on anybody. You know, if anything, they were just reactions to a person's behavior. Exactly. And you both have very strong careers outside of doing this show. Now, thank God. Thank, thank God, yes. Mm -hmm. And now Sharknado 3 has been announced, and yeah. I heard a rumor that you were back for that. Is yeah. that true? Come back for uh, Sharknado 3. We'll start filming that probably towards the end of the month. And it's going to be a, <laughs> a bigger storm. Uh, I think it's going to start in Washington, D.C., and then head south. and. It's a lot of fun. To be a, an action-adventure hero in a science fiction movie is really a dream come true. Mm -hmm. From Steve to action star, like that's, you know, that's a hell of a career right there. Well, thanks very much. I'm a lucky guy. And then you also have Real Housewives of Atlanta going on and other things, and movie productions and things going I on. I do. I have Real Housewives of Atlanta that's airing now, and I'm launching my own hair care line, oh. More Hair Care. In um, more hair May care. 1st, yes. So it's designed to strengthen Can your hair, to help it grow longer and more, stronger. Please. So it, actually, the, doing this show, The Celebrity Apprentice, really helped me to hone in on your marketing skills, your advertising skills, and and it helped me gain focus on how I wanted to market more hair. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. And possibly a scripted series for me in the future, too. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, do you get a lot of support from your co-stars on The Housewives? Some of them, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cynthia, Claudia, Jordan, who was um, a former Celebrity Apprentice contestant, uh, gave me a lot of support, gave me money. Um, Claudia's a class act. Oh, yeah, so. she's a nice girl. Very, very nice girl. And uh, I can't say so much for any, anyone else, but those two definitely supported me. And Ian, I hear that there might be a reunion for 90210. I heard that on the blogs. Is that true or is that still just all rumor? No one's contacted me about that. Uh, Would we you go back? hang out quite a bit off camera, so the reunion, we 
never really left each other's uh, social circles. You know, I still speak to all the guys. I speak to the girls all the time. I saw Shannon in New York yesterday, which was a just a huge treat. I have just so much love and respect for Shannon. She's just an awesome person. Um, yeah, you know what? The fans. It's all about the fans. In the entertainment industry, you have to give the fans what they want. I mean, obviously, it's financially motivated for the networks, but it's the fan. It's fan driven. And did you get a chance to congratulate Tiffany Amber Thiessen for no, her recent announcement of being I just pregnant? Heard that, I just heard about that just now, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah. And then last question for you. I, last week we were at the Golden Globes, and I know you are a big person of being on Twitter and expressing how you feel about things. <laughs> there was a comment you made about Lapita and throwing a little bit of, we'll call it shade, at a... No, no shade. A, a little, well, yes. So yeah, no shade. Is, would you like to comment more about what the blogs are saying about that incident? Oh, they got it wrong. I never asked her for a photo. Someone I was with asked her, and they she was told that she wasn't doing any photos so that was that was all that is I wish I could say that there was more but that's all I'm a huge fan still am a fan will probably always be a fan um, she's an incredible actress a beautiful woman and uh, I have no reason to hate on her well thank you too congratulations for the success thank in the show you. I look forward to continuing thanks watching so and see who the winner is thank Appreciate you it.